Welcome everybody. We are maybe just a little early and there'll be perhaps others coming later. But we're going to go ahead and start. How many of you believe that the Lord is going to be in our midst this evening? He knows right where we're, we are at. I was talking to the men's group this morning and I made mention of David when he uh, seemed like everything had turned against him and he had no other choice but to turn and go hide out in a cave. And I told the men, I want you to think a little bit about the situation that David was in. He hadn't sinned against Saul and he hadn't sinned. And it seemed like he had lost everything. At one time, he was a captain in Saul's army. Saul got jealous and was hunting for his life. David ran down to Gath, the home of the Philistines, and there they rejected him. David acted like he was crazy, insane. Remember, spitting on himself in order to find favor with them. But the king says, we've got enough nuts around here. <laughs> Let's get him out of here. And David went to the cave, and, and I reminded the men there, he said, and David did not have his wife with him. She had asked him to leave for his protection, and there never was harmony since that time. David did not have a spiritual advisor. Samuel couldn't be there. David had lost his very best friend. Jonathan said, you've got to go. Dad's going to kill you. His mom and dad, though, they was alive. They wasn't there. And he found himself all alone and wondering why. And he perhaps wanted to be alone, I imagine, even though he knew where mom and dad lived, he wasn't too anxious to go there. No doubt, while he was down, he thought mom and dad doesn't really care that much about me. I remember when Samuel came looking for the one that was to be anointed king and it was to come out of our family, all of my brothers stood there and Samuel said, that's not the one, that's not the one. And are you sure you don't have somebody else? Isn't there somebody else in the family? No, that, oh yeah, I've got David. He, he's, he's, you know, he's not much. He's out tending the sheep and, he's, and, and, and he waits on his, his brothers. And, and David is in a place where he doesn't want no one to be around him. I mean, he's just down and out. But I like this because I read a little later what David did while he was in there. If you ever read the 57th Psalm, David wrote that in while he was in the cave. And about the 21st Samuel 20, uh, first, 22nd chapter, you can read the story. But when he was writing the Psalms, and I think David, you, you haven't sinned, but you've lost everything. You're down and out. You're not happy. You're paying a price that you can't understand. But what David did, 57 Psalm 9 first, he said, I will give praises unto God among all of the people. And he said, I'm going to sing unto the Lord among all of the nations. And though David didn't understand what was happening, all of a sudden, mom and dad and his brothers found out that David was in this situation in the cave. And here they came. And then 400 men who were just outcasts, nobodies, people who couldn't pay their taxes down and out, and David looked, and here they came. And there was a family reunion because God cares. And there was a group of men that the Lord laid it on David's heart to train them to be an elite army. And David was able to defeat the enemy and again rise up to the throne. So you might be going some, through something tonight. Maybe you're heavy, maybe you're hurting. But I'm telling you, God knows exactly where you're at. And you know what we're going to do tonight? We're going to sing and we're going to praise Him till the shackles fall off. And if you're hurting, we're going to praise Him till you hurt no more. And if you're discouraged and it seems like the family's against you and people is mocking you, we're going to praise Him tonight until the shackles fall off. How many of you believe if we praise Him, the shackles will fall off? Amen. And the first thing that we're going to do is marry 
Taylor's not feeling well right now. We're just going to praise him until the shackles fall off and the Lord gives her healing and strength. And then she's blessed in this service tonight. Will you pray with me? Our Heavenly Father, Mary Taylor, is with us. She's the leader of this group and she loves and serves you and she works hard. Then the people might be able to come and praise you until the shackles come off. And so I ask right now, Master, that your healing anointing will come and settle upon Mary in this very moment the shackles will fall off. Uh, the people that is here that is hardened, I pray that you, we will praise you till the shackles fall off. If there's someone that is discouraged tonight, we're just going to praise you till the shackles fall off. If there's someone that has lost their joy, we're going to praise you till the shackles fall off. Uh, and now, folks, will you lift your hands with me and let's just praise him. Hallelujah, Jesus love you, what an honor it is to gather together, to sing about you, to praise your name, because you know where we are at, and we're going to shout your name to the top of our voice, because you deserve it, and you are our soon coming king. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Remain standing, please, okay. God bless America.
these courses the girls are going to start with are really good. If you don't, sit down. Whatever you want to do, okay? If you don't, sit down. Did you hear that, guys? <laughs>
your blessings on me. I've got a roof up above me. I'm a good place to sleep. There's food on my table and she
Keep going. They're all working. Go. As you notice, oh, oh, the female member of our quartet is not here. And so we're going to do our best to be a trio, and we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> we miss Deanna, but she's in California on business. And I'm going to say, I love her. Tell the story.
Bring me hope and cheer. 
we know that that, that name is King of Kings.
Yes, I know oh. Oh, oh. 
prayers in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. amen. Hallelujah. You know, I don't like these newer cars. They don't have a CD player in them. That's where I practice my songs, is in the car. So I really had to work on this one because I haven't sung it in a while. So here we go. Praise His name. Just listen to the words. They're, they're powerful name, uh, words. Bring my music up on And this. You're up against a wall And your mountain seems so tall And you realize Life's not always fair You can run away and hide Let the old man decide Or you can face your circumstances With a prayer That's a wonderful song. 
strong. Thank you. There was an old fellow in uh, Sun City that uh, was getting more depressed every day. Poor guy, he was just so depressed. He finally decided he, he better get to the drugstore and get some antidepressant pills. So he talked to the druggist and the druggist said, I'm sorry, but uh, you've got to have a doctor's prescription for these antidepressant pills. Just uh, showing me, me your marriage certificate and your wife's picture is not enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you all can join with us as we sing Living by Faith. Sing along with us. Today, what the morrow may bring, if shadow or sunshine or rain, the Lord I know ruleth for everything, and all of my worry is made. Living by faith in Jesus above.
know what to expect. <laughs> Yeah. 
to go just because he loves you so Keep my 